Jen, recording a video talking about snacks. I'm Joel. I'm Laura. And we're the Newly Deads. It's a sinister snacks. These are very sinister. Not really. They're just from the world market and uh, global market. Global market, not the world market. Similar roundy shaped thing. It's just the world on. market's an actual like store. Oh. Anyway, I used to shop there. It's in Wisconsin, and we already did one video, which you've by this point have seen. I hope. If you haven't, go back and find it because it was fun. Uh, but this time, we're doing something a little different. We're not talking about chips. We're going with. Well, first of all, we're going with cheese sandwich. This was my pick. Um, I, I have a feeling it's going to taste or be like those little sandwich crackers you used to get in the package at the gas station or out of the vending machine. Mm -hmm. But I was full before with their cheesy packaging and it was a dessert thing. Yeah, I was like back and forth on it. Like I was thinking, oh, they're actually individually wrapped inside the bigger package. So we're kind of unsure what to expect, whether it's a dessert. I'm guessing it's probably like or... those little packages of like snacky cheese crackers, like those powdery cheeses. That's what you're thinking, right? Like the little powder cheese. Yeah, like there was like six in a package and the crackers were always kind of stale and crumbly and the cheese was always, you know, like just kind of fakey. Yeah. I don't think it's desserty. No, I don't think so either. It looks like, you know, those little Ritz cracker kind of things. Dexter's my, my dog is in it. sniffing up a storm over here. Cheers before you chew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like those powdery kind of cheeses. It's actually less powdery. Not very much cheese. Can't really see it. No matter what I do. Mm. But it's 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 fresher than the ones that I typically find. And these are like Ritz crackers instead of uh just eat the cheesy part. Huh? I put it in my mouth and I split them in half. It's kind of sweet. I noticed that. It's like very sweet, actually. I'm gonna eat a second one. Uh oh. Did you drop it on my dog? Here you go, Dexter. He gets a crumb. <laughs> you want a second one? No? I, I, I just want to dissect it. What is your thoughts on this? Well, it's interesting because it is sort of sweet. It's not necessarily dessert. Just the cheese part. But, hey. Yeah, it's weird. It's not quite... It's not an Oreo, but it's not a cheesy sandwich cracker like with like with the processed American cheese and or cheddar substitute, whatever it's supposed to be, that are in those crackers you buy in the vending machine. But it's like a buttery cracker, kind of like a Ritz, but it's like not as salty. Yeah, it's very much a, a Ritz knockoff kind of cracker hmm. where it's buttery, but... I don't know what I think about those. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to ruminate on that a little bit while we while we do the other one. Cause hmm. I'd rather it be more savory than than what it is, and I feel like it's like a little more sweet, but like one or the other. No flavor. Pick a lane, you know. There's like no flavor to it. We're baking new friends. I mean, if you were hungry. You and this is the friend. only thing that was in the vending machine. I mean, if I'm sitting at the car dealer and I'm waiting for an oil change or something and I've not had anything to eat yet and it's, you know, been three hours and I'm really hungry. If it's like that or okay. some crap that or like tastes gas like station crap. sushi. Oh, yeah. I'd rather or have that. A tuna fish sandwich that's in the vending machine. Mm -hmm. I'd probably go with, the, uh, with those. But yeah. yeah. Anyway. The other snack that I chose, because that's the one he chose, yeah. I chose uh, something sweet. Because she's a, sweet. <laughs> uh, it's a delicious and sweet pineapple cake. 
Joel likes pineapple. I do like pineapple. I love pineapple upside down cake. No to the people out there watching, whoever you are. My aunt used to make it. I was like... And, oh, it was so good. She has since passed on, and my mom has a recipe, but I've not had it for a very, very long time. So I don't... I don't expect this to taste like that. I'm just saying I like pineapple. Cake. I'm thinking it's like filled, like Ooh. a... Oh, it smells weird. Yeah. It's off. off. <laughs> yeah. It smells fermented. It's, like uh yeah. Like alcohol. It's not expired. No, no, we checked them before we This is a product made in Taiwan. It doesn't I mean it doesn't smell like doesn't smell like pineapple. Cheers before you vomit. <laughs> Let's hope not. So the breading really has no flavor. I would not call it delicious or sweet. It's not sweet. I mean, it's not savory. No, it's kind of like that where it's a weird middle ground. It's kind of like the chewiness of like a Fig Newton. With the smell of a can of beer that's been sitting out with cigarette ashes in it? No. 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 Doesn't taste like that, but... Hmm. Don't ask how I know. It's very difficult to read these. It's another language. Calorie. Oh. It the, It's funny because it says energy instead of calories. People overseas do things weird, apparently. I think it's 108 calories. So far, I've not loved anything. I mean, the, the, the egg... Salted egg thing, I think oh. like we said we would be happier if maybe it was a brand that was a little bit different. Yeah. But these other three things we've had so far. You're not going to eat that, are you? I'm just afraid I'm going to get sick. No, you're not going to get sick. I don't think it tastes off. I don't think it tastes fermented. I just think it's not. Mm -hmm. Did it work? Did it work? No, it doesn't work. Oh, you lied to us, Internet. <laughs> I just think that it's... uh. Yeah, not delicious and uh, not very sweet. Definitely not pineapple-y like I, we were hoping for. Mm -hmm. I was hoping for like a, like a pineapple upside down cake kind of flavor. Something that at least had some actual pineapple They had flavor. tons of pineapple cake <clears throat> things. Yeah. So I was like, oh, well, let's just get this one. Yeah, they had no shortage of pineapple and durian. Those are the two major flavors that we saw there mm -hmm. for snacks. Then a lot of milk flavored things mm -hmm. ice cream flavored things um a lot of fishy ones fish flavored and then yes there may those... be some fish flavored snacks in our future and we didn't buy the chicken one because that one just weird oh chicken paw much. has anyone had chicken paw it, would they recommend chicken paw it looks like pickled pig's feet but chicken <laughs> then they had ones <laughs> that like uh, uh the Sardines. Mm. Dried sardines. Which I said I would try, but... Um, they look like worms or like centipedes. Over the chicken feet. You would eat that over the chicken paw. Chicken paw, yeah. <laughs> but just to tease the, the, the viewer, there is something hiding over there in the snack pile that uh, will come close, or over there I should say, uh, come close to... One of those things that we just discussed. Fish. Fishy. Sinister snack. A sinister snack. It's I, very sinister. They just watched me eat a crumb off my own shirt. Well, long as you didn't eat it off of your dog. It might border on being as close to the, uh, the larvets that we ate. Maybe not quite that far. No. The Something larva. I've had before, but... Not, I haven't had larvas before, but... It's something I've had before, just not since I was very young. Yeah, I'm excited about our snack. We'll talk about that when the time comes. Soon. So. Soon. So out of 10, I'm going to put this over here. Because you don't like it. I do not care for that. The Julie's sandwich. Yeah, what would you give the Julie's sandwich crackers? I'll let you go first. A three. Uh, I'm, I'm sitting in the same boat with that. I yeah, just... I think that, you know, it's edible. 
Uh, I just, it's fine. just not my favorite thing. It doesn't really taste like much. And if I'm going to eat something like that, that it's 150 calories. calories for four crackers. Like, I want it to be, like, flavorful yeah. and, like, worth my 150 calories. I want to enjoy that. I mm. want to savor the savory in this. Yeah. Uh, yes. And then what about the pineapple cake? Savory the savoriness? I'm giving it one. A one. Maybe if it was just the cake, but the cake is so flavorless that even that Yeah, he's not be... even going to finish it. I like, at least finished mine. No. I um, waste my calories on that. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I'll give it like a a one also. I was going to say a two, but I'm never going to buy those ever again. They taste like nothing. I'm Sad. glad we didn't buy the ones that were like 15 bucks or whatever for a, a packet. I mean, they may have been better. They may have been fantastic for all we know. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, I would go back and try different pineapple flavored things, but... Mm -hmm. They have a lot of stuff there that we could go through that market and find a lot of fun stuff. So yeah, we just we we like just we want to go back, circus. which you know we have to go back because of our puppy, but or Joel's puppy. Well, she's your puppy. Now, she's too. my step puppy. She's your step puppy. She's sleeping right there. Yeah, sound asleep. But anyway, all right. Well, that's it for this episode of Sinister Snacks. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next